This morning, Central Illinois will take to the streets of Peoria for the 2024 Susan G. Komen More Than Pink Walk. Sayla Estill joins us now from the Metro Center for all things you need to know as walkers are almost ready to take off. Good morning, Sayla. Good morning, Imani. I'm here at the More Than Pink Walk here with, joined by Leah Grubner, who's a six-year cancer survivor. Leah, tell us just some more about yourself and tell us about your story. Well, I was diagnosed back in November of 2017. Uh, had my treatment over in 2018. So this is my sixth year participating with this event. That's awesome. Tell us how it feels to have all these people celebrating and supporting the cause, celebrating survivors and supporting you today. It's just incredible. I mean, looking at there's a woman over here that has a hat on that says 44 year survivor. You know, just thinking how many years of survivorship we have. You know, and there's just such you know fellowship with everybody here. Yeah, talk about Susan G. Coleman and how they've helped as a resource for you and how they've been supportive to you. I'm a member of the Coleman Cafe group. It's kind of a support group for breast cancer survivors. And so, you know, we share, you know, our, our highs and our lows that we've been through. We welcome new survivors and it's just an awesome group. That's awesome. Did you come here alone? Do you have family and friends here with you? Uh, well, I'm here with my team from Salem Lutheran Church. My husband's here with me today. That's awesome. And what are you looking forward to most about today? Uh, just spending time with fellow survivors. That's awesome. So what are your plans today besides the walk itself? From here, I'm going to ICC's graduation. I'm on faculty there, so busy day today. That's awesome. Seeing all these people gathered here today, um, do you have any advice for any new survivors or anybody recently diagnosed? What do you have to say for them? Reach out to Komen. Become a member of the Komen Cafe. There's a lot of good information you can get from those ladies. And you know, just a, a shout out too to the gentlemen out there. Uh, this is not just a, a disease for women. My only family history was an uncle. That's awesome. Talk about how crucial it is to show that support outside of just the month October. It's obviously May, but breast cancer is something, a crucial thing that needs to be talked about year round. Talk about the importance of that. Yeah, cancer doesn't take a break. One in eight women are going to be diagnosed with breast cancer. So, you know, look around to your eight closest friends and, and realize that one of you could be, you know, one or more of you could be a cancer person at any time. You know, I mean, it's not really discriminative of age or, or anything. That's awesome. That's awesome. Thank you so much, Leah. We appreciate it. As you see, plenty of people have came out to support. Thanks so much. Imani, back to you.